Hello, tiny people living in the confines of my laptop. I'm Finn, and welcome to the second episode of the world's loneliest podcast. A few quick updates. Uh, first one is that uh, the mic quality is going to be a little bit worse than it has been due to the fact that my microphone is broken. Uh, this doesn't work anymore. This doesn't work. So my audio is probably not amazing. So for that, I apologize. Uh, second thing, that is going to be more... Uh, two things. Two more things. Uh, another thing that's going to be slightly less good quality is... Uh, I will be taking more pauses in speaking and changing the tone of my speaking a little bit more than usual. For context, I'm having some issues with my teeth in the back and it's causing my jaw to swell and that's causing issues when I'm speaking or eating and it hurts a lot. So if I am quiet or if I am taking a moment to change the tone of my voice or the voice I'm doing or something like that, it is for my own comfort. So I, I apologize if that is upsetting to you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, y'all see that? Why my life do that? And then, uh, final thing is this should be more structured than the previous episode due to me now understanding. What? My lights keep flashing. That's not scary at all. Uh, but uh, I have a structure, and I don't have a script, but I have like a, a bunch of bullet points or stuff I want to talk about, which makes it easier for me to relay that information to you guys. So, without further ado, let's get let's get into the first thing I want to talk about, which is the the audience feedback that the first episode of this got. I want to talk about the reception, and I want to talk about the comments and the likes. Why are my lights doing that? One minute, my lights are doing stuff that they aren't supposed to. Well, I guess I have better lighting now. <laughs> Back to uh, audience feedback. Um, it was overwhelmingly positive, which is incredibly helpful, not only as a person and wanting to have positive feedback on stuff you do, but as a creative and somebody who wants to do more of this, it's incredibly, it's incredibly helpful and causes a lot of thoughts and questions and whatnot to come into my head that are extremely helpful. Um, so I appreciate that. I appreciate all of the likes. Uh, I believe it got f 42 likes and 4 dislikes was what the the ratio was the last time I looked at it. Um, as of recording this on May 6th, uh, it's at 560 or something views, which is awesome. Um, it has my highest uh, watch hours on any video at close to 40. It's great. Thank you guys so much, and I appreciate all the likes. Uh, and I appreciate the upwards of 20 comments uh, that I have gone in and, and talked to, and I appreciate you guys so, so very much for that. It means the world to me, and I am so happy that something I've made has been able to get that much reception and interaction uh, from you guys, which is awesome. Um... Do, 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 do. Um, I don't want it to just be about... I don't want to just do all the analytic stuff right now. Uh, podcast updates. Whoa. Um, the podcast is now a weekly thing. It'll be coming out every Friday at 5 a.m. my time. Whew. Um, am I, I think it's 5 a.m. EST and like... You guys can figure out the conversion rates. I'm not a... I'm not... I'm not some like company... That knows that information. I should probably figure that out. In the future, I'll figure that out. But it'll it'll stay. These will be coming out Friday at 5 a.m. my time. Um, uh, so, I would like to... What's the right term? Encourage you guys to stick around to find more episodes. Because the more we go into it, the more I will understand how to talk to this audience in a way that is... better for this audience, rather than the way I talk in my normal videos, which is very much like the same three or four people I've always talked to, because like I understand what they want to see and that sort of thing, uh, whereas this is a much bigger audience, and I would like to... I'm sorry, term. I would like to 
figure out what you guys want to hear from me and what you don't and work that into the the process. Um, I don't want this to have a lot of crazy high quality like cameras and stuff like that. I want this to stay very old school YouTube because I think that's that's what makes this special. Um, so there's that. It's coming out every week on Friday and I want to encourage all of you to stick around. Um, if you are interested in conversation with me or conversations with other people in this community, uh, you can go to the Discord that will be in the description down there right now. It should be the first link, uh, maybe the only link, unless I come up with something else that I need to point out. But uh, yeah, go to the Discord, hop in, talk to us. Uh, we're putting together a Minecraft server, uh, a friend of mine who is in the server. You can ask uh, any questions you need to to that beautiful man. Uh, so go to the Discord, uh, join, chat with everybody, be nice. Um, it's become a very safe, positive experience for people. Uh, the only person I've had leave the Discord was somebody who was not a good person and was very, very mean. So, I mean, everybody who's nice has stayed. Uh, so come enjoy the Discord, and then if you're interested, join the Minecraft server, dude. It's fun. Minecraft's awesome, guys. You join the Minecraft modded server. It's very cool. And if you have any issues with the server or with the mods, you can contact the guy who's putting all that together in the Discord. Whoa! Uh, now, now that we've got that out of the way, time to get into wrestling news. I love wrestling. Wrestling is awesome. I love professional wrestling. Uh, I have decided that I'm not going to be doing what I have done at some point in the past, and I, I've done a thing where I've been, like, predicting wrestling pay-per-views, and then after predicting wrestling pay-per-views, I've been, uh, doing a review of that pay-per-view afterwards, and, uh, YouTube is very specific on the algorithms, and the way it wants to push your content. So if you make 10 videos about Five Nights at Freddy's, and then you make a random video about Deadpool, there's a very, very high chance that YouTube does not push the Deadpool video, as it now sees you as a channel that posts Five Nights at Freddy's content. Uh, and I like this channel to be diverse, and if... Uh, once a month, I make a video that does well, because they have so far, about a wrestling prediction and then a pay-per-view, and then both of those do well. My channel gets put into a group of channels that are now said, these are wrestling channels. And I love professional wrestling with all of my heart, but this isn't what this channel is. So from now on, I'm going to be talking about wrestling stuff here. Uh, if you aren't interested, uh, skip ahead a bit. Because I'm not gonna, I shouldn't be talking about wrestling for too long. Uh, I'll try to have a thing in the description about when the wrestling thing is over if you want to skip it. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's that. Um, now, getting into the wrestling stuff WWE Backlash was fucking awesome. Uh, first match on the show was a tag match, and it started out fun, and then got even funner, because it was just four dudes dogging on each other, and then all the refs come out, and they're like, fucking quit, and then the general manager, Nick Aldis, came out, and he was like, you wanna fucking break the rules? Break the fucking rules, it's no DQ, and then they beat the fuck out of each other for like 30 minutes, just waylaying, being thrown through shit, over, and over, and over, and over, and over, and some of those spots were genuinely scary. Uh, Kevin Owens hit Tamatanga with a brain buster through a bunch of fucking chairs, and the the way Tonga lands, you see his head like bounce down like this because he lands like bridge of the neck on the chairs, and his head goes like upward into his fucking chest, and it scared me. Uh, and then that wasn't the end, and then there was a bunch more, uh, and then the bloodline grew because they got a new guy, uh, Tonga Lea, I believe is his name. Uh, I hope that's hope I didn't say his name wrong. He seems like he's a fun feller. Uh, but that was cool. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the triple threat between Naomi, Bailey, and Tiffany. This channel, th this channel, this YouTube channel, we run on Tiffy time. So, 
if you're a wrestling fan and you don't know who Tiffany Stratton is, uh, go watch some of her shit. She's awesome. This channel runs on Tiffy time. That's just the rule. The time zone changed. In France, where the pay-per-view was happening, the time zone changed to Tiffy time. Tiffy's awesome. I'm just going to hold this like a microphone to make myself feel better. No, it doesn't change anything about my audio. Um, so that match was fun. Uh, Tiffany Stratton was the MVP of that match, dude. It was so fucking cool. I love Tiffy time. She went to do uh, her her finish, the prettiest moonsault ever, to Naomi and Bailey instead of just one, and they both moved, and that was sick. And then they took her out with like a like a 3D style like flapjack into a cutter. That was fucking dope. Uh, and then the match ended with Bailey like rolling up uh, Naomi, which I thought was cool because it means that nobody like nobody like got their ass. Nobody looked like a bitch. Nope, nobody lost hard. Like, Naomi got pinned, but, like, she didn't, like, take a one, two, three, and then, like, stay laying down. She got, like, rolled up for a surprise or whatever you want to call it. So, it made everybody look good. Tiffany looks fucking great leaving it because she didn't get pinned. Bayla looks great because she won. Uh, correct answer. I think it was pretty predictable, but that's not always a bad... The entire show was predictable, but that's not always a bad thing, especially in, in a live in a live performance. I don't think predictability is an issue. Um, after that is Damian Priest and Jey Uso. Also predictable. I don't think too many people thought Jey was going to win. Very fun match. I think if I had to rate it on what I thought of the match, I'd give it like a three. Like a three. Three out of five stars, probably. I'd give it like a three. Three point... F- three and a quarter, probably. Uh, it was a fun match. Um, I think Jay and Damien have a lot of uh, in-ring chemistry, but I think their chemistry is better out of the ring. Like, on a, on a microphone, I think they're really good together. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed um, the storytelling of Damien Priest and uh, the... I liked the storytelling of Damien Priest not wanting help from the Judgment Day. And whenever they came out, he was upset. Which I think is so fucking cool because it makes him feel like more of a champion. I think a a, a world champion doesn't need minions to do their job. And I think Damien feels that way. And that's cool. I like that. I think the world championship should be treated like a really big deal. And if somebody holds it and somebody interferes, they should be pissed. Because I worked my ass off. This is the the biggest prize in this business. I worked my ass off for it. Do not fucking touch it. Uh, and I think that's super sick. I like him getting mad at them. Uh, the finish was dope as shit, too. Uh, Jay took a choke slam from Damien off the top rope, which looked fucking sick. And I want Damien to do that more. I love I love random changes to a finisher. Especially if it's one that's just, like, off the top or whatever. Fuck yeah. So good. Uh, but that was fun. Um, and then after the match, Dominic... No, Dominic wasn't there. Um, Finn and McDonough were beating on Jay. And Damien turns around and yanks them off of him. Uh, and tells him, fucking quit. He's he's done. And then they went to beating him again. And Damien uh, was like... He's already done and picks him up and he's like got Finn by like his beard, like holding him up against the ropes and shit. He's like, he's fucking done. I'm the leader. You listen to me. Uh, and then he said, stand there, stand there. And they stood beside him and he, he held his belt up. And I thought that was so fucking sick. I think, I think moving forward, what the Judgment Day needs to do is take, I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. The, the people who aren't Damien need to turn on him and have that lead to uh, SummerSlam being Finn versus Damien because it'll be eight years to the to like the week maybe not to the day because it's a different day of the week or whatever but like eight years to the to the week or to the pay-per-view I guess since Finn won the universal title It'll be one year from when Finn almost beat Seth for this title, and I think it'd be very, very, very good storytelling if Damien drops the belt to Finn, uh, and then 
have Damien go on like a, like a fucking monster baby face run. Uh, have him get booted out, have him lose the belt, and then just have him be a good guy. And don't make him go back to what he used to be. Because the, the old thing of, I, I could be your your angle or your devil. No, fuck you. You're, you're not a believable... He's not a believable, like, sweet baby. But him as a good guy that is a monster, is fu- I think that could work. Like, I think he's really tall, he's really wide, covered in tattoos, long hair, his voice is really good, he should do a pod. Damien Priest, if you want to do a podcast, you can't come on this one, this one's lonely. But I can, we can talk. That dude has a voice. But the idea of him as like a, like a monster, but still a good guy, I think is incredibly fun. I want that really bad. There's a truck about to go by, so my audio might get dog ass for a second. So for that, uh, I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Car. Meow. Uh, but yeah, that's what I think about that. I fucking, Damien's great. When he first won Money in the Bank, I wasn't super big on it. But afterwards, I'm very happy with what's happened. I love all the storytelling that's going on. Uh, next match, uh, tag team championship match. Woo! The Kabuki Warriors versus... Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair. Fun match. Um, it wasn't a great wrestling match. Because there's not a lot that happened. Uh, I feel like all four can wrestle. Like, both of the Kabuki Warriors are great. Asuka's, like, top five women's wrestlers ever in my eyes. I love that fucking woman. Uh, but uh, I love all of the wrestlers in it. All four of them can go. This match could have been better, but I feel like that's because big wrestling companies oftentimes take the time out of the women's matches and just don't let them go. Uh, and I don't think that's okay, but I thought the match was okay. I thought it was good. Right outcome. Jade and Bianca being uh, champs is cool. Uh, the only thing I can say is to fix the fucking belts. Those belts look ass. Oh, God, in a company that's known for having dog shit titles, they, that's, like, the worst one to me. I hate the women's ch- the women's tag titles. Get new ones, please. Uh, but Bianca and, and, and Jade having the titles are is cool. I like it. Um, I cannot wait for them to... I can't wait for Bianca to turn on Jade and then them have a absolute banger, just two muscle mommies slapping the fuck out of each other for like 26 minutes. That's exciting. Uh, so that's fun. And I, I'm excited to see where that goes. I can see them having a two or three like pay-per-views where they keep the belts and then drop them. Maybe, maybe in August, SummerSlam, they have their, their one-on-one match. I don't know. But uh, very fun match, very fun ending. I liked the final spot of Jade hitting Jaded, which is basically a glam slam. Uh, and then Bianca doing the KOD afterwards. I thought that was sick. Very fun. Also fun little baby storytelling of her pinning Asuka with the same move that she pinned Asuka with at Mania last year. Very fun. Uh, and then was the fucking main event. Match of the night. Goddamn AJ Styles is so good at wrestling. AJ Styles and Cody Rose was a great fucking match full of great fucking spots. Um... I also like that since Mania, uh, they've started to do this thing. At Mania, they didn't, which is, I, is fair because it was two big world title matches that ended like a year, one year long reign and a fucking multi year long reign and stuff. But like, ever since Mania, uh, like a finisher has won a match. People aren't kicking out of finishers at like 2.1 or 1.8. Uh, and I like that. I like that Cody won the match with a single crossroads. I thought that was great. Uh, He hit, like, three fucking Cody cutters, and the last one was awesome. AJ sold the fuck out of it. Cody went really fucking high. Uh, Cody was wearing the French flag instead of the U.S. flag. I thought that was pretty sick. Um, AJ pulled out a fucking burning hammer out of nowhere. Uh, If you're a baby wrestling fan or a newbie, and you don't know what a burning hammer is... That move is so fucking cool. You lift the guy up onto your back where, like, their back is on your shoulders, like an like a reverse fireman's carry, and you flip them up, and while they're in the air, head down, just fucking drive their head down. Awesome fucking move. Love the burning hammer. Uh, Cody kicked out at fucking one, uh, so that was sick. 
Uh, and he did the fucking, like, slapping himself, fucking, like, pump-up thing, where, like, he grips his hair, fucking, Cody's awesome. I want Cody to turn heel. (laughs) I love Cody. I want him to lose the belt. Uh, not now. I want him to lose it after SummerSlam, maybe in, like, October. I want Cody to lose to Randy. I want Orton to get his 15th, 14th, 15th? I think it'll be his 15th world title. I don't know. I want him to break Flair's record, but I want him to beat Cody for one of them. I think that'd be fun storytelling if he beats Cody. I also think it'd be fun storytelling if he beats Cody with uh, a punt kick car. Uh, But I I really like Cody as champion. So far, it's been good. He's had two televised matches, one with AJ and one with Carmelo. Both have been fucking awesome. The only one that's been for the title is with AJ. It's fucking great. Um, very fun match, a lot of fun spots, and now to get to the part of this pay-per-view that was genuinely fucking brilliant. The fan interaction at this fucking pay-per-view was genuinely mind-bogglingly good. Like, on SmackDown, it was really fucking loud, and people, like, really gave a shit, but at this goddamn, dude, at this pay-per-view... Dude, some when when the, when when the Fed when WWE goes to a different country, even if the match is is okay, the crowd is fucking phenomenal, dude. Fucking ex- elimination chamber in Canada, money in the bank in in uh fucking it was in England, fucking uh last year's backlash in Puerto Rico, this year's backlash in France, uh last year's elimination chamber in uh, Australia. Uh, we've got Clash at the Castle was two years ago. Uh, Bash in Berlin's coming up. Um, I think they have a UK show coming too. I don't know what it is, but they have a UK show. Uh, well, other than well, is Germany in the UK? I don't know my ge- geology. Is that the term? I don't. I don't know. But they they have like a. Oh, they're going to Scotland. I think. Maybe. Or Ireland. One of those ones. But dude, at, the, at these fucking pay-per-views, it's like... It's like its own WrestleMania. It's so fucking loud. The, these fucking... These fans give a shit. Because like... For example, there hasn't been a WWE pay-per-view... Of, in a country that isn't Canada, the US, or Britain... In a fucking minute. They They did like... Actually, I don't know if there has been. Because they do stuff in Canada every once in a while, but they do pay-per-views up there every every little bit, like every year or so. Uh, they do tours in the UK, but they don't do, like, pay-per-views. Other than Money in the Bank, I don't think they had done one since, like, 90-something. It's been a fucking minute. And they, they do shows in places, but they don't do pay-per-views. Ever since they've started, bro. Loud as goddamn things, dude. Like, this French pay-per-view, Backlash, dude... Lyon, France, brought that shit, man. They they fucking brought that shit. They were, like... Instead of booing at people that they didn't like, they were just chanting shit that's mean. But it was so loud, dude. It was so loud that it made the fucking cameras move. Like, when AJ entered the ring and did his, like, little fucking, like hand pose thingy that he does, where where his gloves make the the AJ. Dude, the fucking camera that's getting the shot of him is moving like this, because the whole fucking building is moving because of how incredibly loud and fucking excited these fans are, which is awesome. Uh, The pop for the Burning Hammer was fucking crazy. The pop for the the pin off the Styles Clash... Not Styles Clash. I don't think he hit that. Uh, The the Crossroads. uh, Very loud. Uh, when Bailey pinned Naomi, it was loud. When, uh, Tiffany went to do the prettiest moonsault ever, the crowd exploded. Because they were on Tiffy time, damn it! Uh, I am upset, uh, that we didn't get Sammy and Chad, uh, him and Gable. But that's probably happening at another pay-per-view. They're probably gonna build it up. Maybe Bash in Berlin. Uh, I don't know. But... I'm excited for that. Uh, The only, the only complaint that I would have for the whole pay-per-view is that it was predictable. But I don't, I don't think I mean that. Like, I enjoyed it. 
is the thing. I don't think it was predictable in a bad way. Um, but yeah, Lyon, France deserves another pay-per-view. WWE, go back there. They were the loud... They were maybe the loudest crowd you've ever had in the, like, 70-year history of your company. Go back there. They're so f- fucking excited. Go back to Lyon, France. Or go somewhere else in France. They were so fucking loud. <laughs> Uh, do more, do more shows elsewhere, guys. I know we got, like, three more this year, but I want, like, nine more over the next year and a half, or whatever, fucking more. Uh, but that's sick. Um, other wrestling notes, uh, I just want to point out how many, like, black champions there are in wrestling right now. Uh, how many am I? I'm, I'm gonna name, th- hmm. Fuck. I'm gonna name... Two world champions. To just put it out there. Fucking Swerve. Isaiah Swerve Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Swerve. We love you. We love you, Swerve. Thank you for going and getting the AEW championship and fucking holding that bitch over your head and defending it so goddamn much. Uh, Trick Williams, thank you for killing Ilya Dragunov so we can have him on the main roster. I love Ilya Dragunov. If we don't get Ilya Dragunov versus, uh, ver- f- um, if we don't get Ilya Dragunov versus Sheamus at some point, I I will be genuinely furious. That match would slam, dude. Ilya Dragunov and Sheamus would slap. Ilya Sh- I- Ilya and Drew would slap. Ilya and Gable would slap. Ilya and Sami Zayn would slap. Ilya and Bobby Lashley would be fucking heat. Ilya and Gunther does slap. We've seen it before. It should happen again. Uh... Hell, I'd be down to see Ilya and Gunther win the tag belts at some point. Not now, but at some point in, like, a couple years or something. I fucking love those fuckers. Um, Ilya's a cool fucking wrestler. He's a good guy. I think... I think he deserves to have some fun on the main roster. Hell, uh, I'd throw a mid-card title on him. I wouldn't wouldn't be mad at that. If he came in and, uh, like, took... I don't want him in the intercontinental picture because I know who I want in that for now. Like, I want it to be Chad and Sammy. And then I want Chad to win it and I want Chad to drop it to Sheamus. Uh, but, ooh, wait, that's perfect because if, if Sammy gives it to Gable at Bash in Berlin and then Gable runs with it until the Rumble, he could drop it to Sheamus then and then at Mania, Sheamus... Ilya could be the, the the title match. That'd be fucking dope. But yeah, but it's fucking sick that we get that we're allowed to have black black, black champions in wrestling. That's so fucking dope. Because uh, like The Rock doesn't count. The Rock is a black man, sorta. But no, he doesn't count. He's different. Uh, fuck yes to 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 black champions in wrestling. Uh. Fuck, I can't wait for Jade to be champion. Dude, J- Jade as champion is going to go fucking hard. She should hold the world title belt and not the WWE. Because I want her to have the big gold belt because that's better. Uh, but I fu- it's so sick. Uh, I was always a big Booker T guy. And I was so incredibly pissed off that he didn't uh, beat Triple H at uh, Mania 19. I was so pissed he didn't beat Triple H for the for the world title. I know that would have ruined his five-time gimmick. Because five-time, 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 five-time champ. Uh, but f- he deserved it. Booker T's fucking sick. And then uh, I I was, like, so incredibly excited whenever uh, Mark Henry became world heavyweight champ. That title run is so fucking good. The Hall of Pain run for Mark Henry. Nobody talks about that. No wrestling fans talk about that. That's such a good fucking run from such an underrated wrestler. His match with Big Show at TLC, which was kind of the end of his ma- of his of his reign, if you put it of the Hall of Pain run and stuff, but like that match was fucking heat, and then that led to Daniel Bryan being world champion. Uh, he's my favorite, Bryan Danielson. You are my favorite wrestler of all time, and I love you. I should make a video on him. I'm gonna make a video on Danielson at some point. I don't know when because I don't have time. After this, my dad's g- genuinely when I'm done with this, I have to go pick up my dad. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I love, loved Mark Henry, his run, that fucking, the Steel Cage match, or what, no, was it Steel Cage? It might have been. The match where he beat Daniel Bryan with a, like the, 
fucking World Strongest Slam off the very top, off the like middle rope or whatever. So cool. I loved that. Kofi Mania was dope. Kofi's my least favorite member of the New Day, yet somehow I cared more about his run than Big E's, which is wild. Also, give Xavier Woods a fucking title run. Big dub. Give give Woods a fucking reign. Can we get that hashtag spreading? Woods a reign? Fucking... Xavier Woods deserves to be WWE World Heavyweight Champion. If I was going to give him a belt, I'd give him the big gold belt. I don't know when, but I would. I fucking love Woods. He deserves it. He was king of the ring, and then nothing fucking happened. Bullshit. Give him money in the bank or some shit. I don't know. Let the guy do something. I love that guy. I'm done talking about wrestling because I've gone on for 20-something minutes. But, yeah. I love wrestling, and more, more black champions in wrestling. Uh... Shouts out Bobby Lashley. I didn't point out that he was a world champion. My apologies. Uh, but sh- shouts out to, to Bobby Lashley as well. Now, c- close. I'm going to write down. Hold up. I'm going to write down what time it is on the thing so I can add it to the description. All right. We got, the, we got that out of the way. Now, baby, let's get into some personal stuff. Uh, I got... I was, like, this close to getting hit by a car. Uh, no, I wasn't driving. Um, I was riding bikes with my little cousins, uh, and the one I was on didn't have brakes at all. No front brakes, no back brakes, and I don't wear shoes, ever. I I wear, like, slides. I don't do shoes. Uh, so, I put my feet down, and I stopped, and it worked, and I stopped. Uh, and then my little cousin, going as fast as he possibly could, railed the back tire, and it went from a straight back tire to an L. And I went out into the front of an F-350. Uh, and if there wasn't a red light right above me and the car wasn't already stopping, I would have gotten hit by a very large vehicle. So that was incredibly scary. Um, I was very pissed off. I didn't go off on the kid because I don't like yelling at children. I don't like yelling at children. I got yelled at a lot whenever I was little. And I'm not, and I've, I've got issues now, so I'm not going to yell at kids. Uh, but it was, I was increasingly more angry as I realized all the stuff. Because first I was like, oh, cool, broken bike. And then I was like, oh, I just got like this close to death. Uh, and then after that, it was like a slow build of like, oh, now I have to fuck because we were so far from, from the house, and I was like, well, I can't leave the bike here. So I gave the broken bike to a kid, and then I took the working bike and zoomed here, which, God, I got here so fast. I ran out of breath very heavy. And I got my keys, got in my truck, and I went and picked them up through the bikes in the back and stuff. And, God, I, I just... I'm getting a headache thinking about it. I almost died because a kid doesn't know how to use brakes. He should have just been... He should have been riding the one with no brakes. Because I tried. He didn't. Um, my phone keeps vibrating. Is that important? No, it is not. I'm good. Um, my brain go? Oh. Uh, next personal thing, which also pissed me off. I went to... The place I used to work, a McDonald's, and I got food. And while sitting there to get my food, I waited for a hot goddamn minute. Not that uh, that's on the workers, I understand. Uh, I wasn't pissed off because the workers were being slow or anything. I was pissed off because of how long the fucking line was. There were so many people. Why were there so many people at a McDonald's in a small town in Arkansas? For what reason? It doesn't... Fuck, ow. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, But I went there, and then ex-co-workers uh, and former friends were incredibly awkward about it. Like, it, listen, talk to me or don't. Don't do this, like, half-conversating thing. It's incredibly awkward. It's it's harmful to, like, your ability to understand me and my ability to understand you. It's just, it's fucked. But, like, well, there were two people who were genuine friends, uh... What's a good made-up name? Nick and Sarah. Nick and Sarah. That's a good made-up name. 
Nick and Sarah are actually caring people, and they talked to me for a minute. But uh, everyone else there was incredibly awkward about it. Like my old boss, who tried conversating with me after I quit. Uh, and she was very passive-aggressive. And it's like, okay, you can just not talk to me, you know? It's like, if you're gonna be mean, just don't fucking talk. <laughs> it's like, you don't like me, I don't like you. What the? Why the fuck are you conversating with me? Uh, but that was awkward. And I got my food. I got a fucking plain cheeseburger and a fucking goddamn tin piece and a large Coke. And I ate it all and drank it all like a fat little pig. But not yet, uh, because I got home... I walked inside, and I looked down, and there was, like, five fucking towels uh, in front of my refrigerator. Um, and I was like, what the fuck? Is, what the fuck? So I opened the front door of the fridge, and genuinely, like, a fucking milk tub-style gallon of water comes barreling out. Um, coach the floor, and I closed the door, and I looked down. And I realized that the water that just flooded has only moved out towards where the towels are. And then I looked behind the towels to see if there was a bunch of damage. And from where the kitchen is and shit, where the, uh, where the, where the refrigerator is sitting to the back door is probably 17, 18, maybe 20 feet. Uh, and all of it is like a centimeter up of water. So it turned out that, uh, well, I'll get to what the problem was after I go through all the bullshit. Uh, so I got more towels, I cleaned up the water, and then I called my best friend. Hello, Amadon Beans at youtube.com slash Amadon Beans. Uh, and I was like, dude, what the fuck do I do? My fridge is exploding. And he was like, turn the water off. So I came outside and I turned the water off. Small issue, the fucking water thing that's down on the ground uh, it was filled to the brim with mud, water, and bugs. Uh, for those who do not know, I'm afraid of bugs, uh, and also allergic to fucking grass and mud and wood and critters and also metal and also fucking everything else. But long story short, I had to dig in that shit and have a bad allergic reaction to get the water turned off so that I wouldn't flood my fucking house. Then, I go inside. And I fucking check, and I make sure no water's going, and I find the tube where the water goes into the fucking... Where the water goes into the car. 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 Where the water goes into the fridge. Fixed all that shit. Uh, or so I thought. Uh, and then I realized there's a little filter. A little water a little water filter thingy down there. So I mess with the water filter. And the water filter fucking exploded... So the water that was supposed to go into the filter was now just leaking into the fucking floor of the refrigerator, building up, like, you know how in some refrigerators they have, like, the fucking cabinet that you can pull out at the bottom? Yeah, the water was above the fucking cabinet. Uh, like, I would let it fucking drain out, close it, less than six minutes would go by and it would be up to the fucking top. Why is there that much water in a fridge? For what? Uh, but that happened... So I fucking got down there, and somebody had fiddled with the fucking, like, front of the filter where we put it in. So it was fucking broken, and I had to use pliers to get it out, which fucked with it more. And it was, like, broken, broken. Like, a fucking big-ass hole in it from, like, where it ripped. Um, if I hold this towards the camera, everything turns blue. Well, my hand's kind of there, if I pull it back to the darkness. But, uh... So that fucking sucked. So then I realized what the problem was. Fucking $50 later. An hour and $50 later. Everything's finally fixed. The way it should be. Uh, and that's fine. I guess. Uh, so that's, 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 that's how my fucking Sunday went. Was all of that shit. Uh. God, I, I love that every day is, like, enough bullshit for a week. I hate everything. Well, I say every day. That was, like, a one-and-a-half-hour experience. There's a lot more shit that happened today that I... Not that I can't talk about it. And not even that I don't want to. It's just stuff that's, like, familial bullshit that I feel weird talking about online. 
Um, next segment, my dad, uh, for those who do not know, I don't, I don't have a good relationship with my father. I don't have a relation. I don't have a good relationship with either of my parents or any other family members. I don't have familial relations. That sounds fucked up. Well, no, that sounds like a good thing. I'm glad I don't have familial relations. Uh, but yeah, I have a really shitty relationship with my dad, uh, car, uh, and it's kind of always been a fucked relationship. It's like when I was a baby, my mom was on drugs that he allowed her to be on a shit. And like, when I say allowed, I mean like he gave her. So like that fucked me up a little bit. Uh, so that led, that's probably what led to uh, how fucked I am. And like my cross eye and my fucking, uh, autism and all that. Why did I stutter on autism? That felt forced. Uh, and a bunch more shit, and then, um, he left my mom, uh, well, not, he didn't leave my mom, he cheated on my mom with a much older woman, had a child with that woman, and then left my mom, uh, and took everything, uh, all of the vehicles, the house, which was more of a camper, uh, all that shit he took, and then, uh, God, why's my brain not working? From there, um, fuck, where's my brain at? Uh, and then he was just kind of a very absent father for the first, for like my primitive, is primitive years correct? I don't know. For my primitive years, uh, he wasn't there at all. Like he, he, like he'd pop in for like a weekend, but then he'd be gone for like a month, two months, three months or whatever the hell. Um... And then, he was in and out of jail a lot, um, which sucked, and the, hello little kitty, please don't attack my vehicle, goodbye my friend, uh, and that's kind of fucked already, it's just being absent is kind of the suckiest thing you can do as a parent, uh, and then he decided to finally show up, and that was, uh, worse, um, he was extremely aggressive about everything, extremely defensive. It's weird. He was aggressive and defensive at the same time. He was extremely verbally and emotionally abusive. Car. Uh, he, he was extremely verbally and mentally abusive. Sometimes what I would consider socially abusive by, like, doing things that would harm me in public situations, uh, such as, like, bullying me around family and stuff, which is pretty fucked, like, this is skipping ahead a bit, but at, like, age 14, uh, I was on a camping trip with a bunch of family members, and... He brought up, for some reason, he brought up, like, the fact that I'm like, he's like, yeah, my kid's short, my kid is skinny, and all this shit, but he's saying it in, like, he's saying it like he's a Saturday Night Live villain, if that makes sense. And he's always been that way, he's always been very, he bullies, like, everyone in his life. And that rubbed off on me in a very bad way, and I, I'm trying to I'm trying to fix it. But I, I bully everyone too; it's an issue. Uh, but he does that to this day, and is very much an asshole about it, which sucks. Um, he I'm trying to think. I'm trying to figure out what I want to share. Oh, uh, when I was like ten, maybe eleven. Uh, he legally kidnapped me, which sounds like a weird fucking statement. What is legally being kidnapped? Um, long story short, my custody of me was written over by my mother uh, to my grandmother, meaning I was under the legal guardian, guardian? the legal guardianship of my grandma. Um, and my dad, being my parent, uh, kidnapped me 
from my grandma's house and took me away for maybe three weeks uh, to... We literally lived in a fucking empty church for like two or three, maybe maybe a month. Uh, two or three weeks, maybe a month. Uh, it was me, him, and my grandpa just living in a fucking church. And I went to school for two of the days of that like month or whatever. And I just stayed there and they were doing, I believe, methamphetamines? Uh uh-huh. They were doing something that that wasn't good for them in the back room of this church. Um, I don't remember which I was uh, like uh, tr- my brain has like pushed all that. You know how some people have the thing where like, their trauma gets pushed away by their brain. That's me. So a lot of, a lot of stuff he's done I don't actually remember. I've just heard stories or the stuff that I do remember I don't remember all of it. So be aware that like details can be off about this stuff, but it is all accurate and it is all true. Just individual details and timelines may not add up due to that sort of thing. Um, like, I don't know I don't know if I was fucking 10 or 11 or 12 or 13. I don't fucking know. I, I don't know how old I was whenever the, the legal kidnapping thing happened. I know where the church is. It's in my town. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. If you were kidnapped, then why didn't, why didn't the people, like, talk to the police or something? Uh, my grandma simply didn't want her kid in prison. Stupid fucking reason. Also, car. But yeah, stupid fucking reason, right? It's like, yeah, I don't want to tell the cops. Why? I don't want my son in, in prison. He's He fucked... He ended up there anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, the only reason that I... Uh, ended up getting back to my grandmother uh, in my grandmother's house is because my dad uh, was being chased by the police and dropped me off here one night and left because he didn't want me in the back seat crying. Great fucking parent, by the way. Uh, and I feel like from that point, I'm going to quit uh, explaining my disliking of my father, as I feel like it's understandable, and I feel like you guys get it. Um, however, I will talk about why I br- brought all this up. Uh, today, May 6th, at uh, 12 a.m. EST, um, my father gets out of prison. He's been in for two and a half-ish years. I've had the I've had the time to buzz buzz cut my hair and grow it out twice, like full long hair, like I had a couple months ago, two times in the time he's been locked up, and also that in, that does also include the time it's taken to grow this. Um, and I've been safe without him here, and tomorrow he he comes back, he comes back tomorrow. And I have to fucking babysit him. And when I say I have to babysit him, I don't mean, oh, I have to be with him for a day. I mean from Monday night at about 8 p.m. Well, tonight. I'm probably going to sleep, though. uh, Because it's 4 a.m. In At about 8 p.m., everybody's leaving here, except for me and him. And I am his fucking babysitter, his errand boy, and his fucking chauffeur for about a week and a half. My bedroom is probably going to be where all of his stuff stays. He's probably going to ask me for money and to use my truck. And I can't say no to any of it. If I say if I say no to letting him use my truck, uh, it's never going to get signed over to me by my grandmother. If I say no to taking him somewhere, he'll probably beat my ass. If I say no to giving him money, uh, I'll probably get my ass beat. Um, and here's the thing. I know what you guys are thinking. If something like that happens and he hits you or something, police. Now, that sounds like a good idea. But then if I don't have, like, proof of him doing it, it's my word versus his word, and everyone believes him for some fucking reason. Like, uh, like two or, not two or three, because it's been two and a half years since he's been locked up. Four-ish years ago, he sexually assaulted my stepmom, and simply due to the fact that he is, like, a stereotypical Southern, like, 
I'm white, I'm a man, and I am strong, and I believe in God, I can't do anything wrong, so I would never do that. So people believed him. Uh, which is fucked. But it's my word versus his, and I don't trust that my word means anything around here. Um, so that sucks, dick and also balls. Uh, I talked about it slightly in the podcast last week, and I talked about it in two or three uploads recently. Uh, but my uploads are probably going to uh, dive bomb in, not quality, but in quantity uh, due to this. Because, you know, it's a little hard to record stuff when you're babysitting a 43-year-old. When you're, when you're babysitting a full-grown man, it's a little hard to go have fun. So, fuck me. Um, when you're seeing this, it'll be May 10th, maybe? I don't know math. It'll be the Friday of the same week. I'm recording this on Monday morning at 4 a.m. Um, and I have, I have videos f planned for today, I have, like, a short thing Tuesday, Wednesday, I might have, I don't know, I have stuff planned for this week, and then, uh, probably next weekend, if not next Monday or Tuesday, I'll record episode three of this, but, uh, like, I probably won't be able to make normal content other than the podcast for a minute, uh, because I don't have a place to do it. I used to do it in my bedroom, but my bedroom's about to not be mine anymore. And I would record in, like, my living room or whatever, but then there's children running around. Or I could, re like, record outside, but then I worry about, like, oh, my grandma or my dad or, like, an aunt or whatever pulling up and seeing me. And then I have to explain why I am, like, talking about some liberal bullshit. It's like, why do you call yourself Finn? Or what's the deal with this? And da 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 And it's just, it's annoying... I don't want to do it. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit! Um, what's the fucking bullshit thing? Bullshit! I don't remember it. I can't remember the bullshit thing. It's a meme. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. So that's the shit with my dad. Uh, and that's only some of it. Um, but... I don't feel like making the podcast sad. I also don't want to sit here and just trauma dump for too damn long. I want to I want to save some of my trauma dumping. Well, it's not like that was most of it or anything. It's like a fucking like maybe 3% of my trauma or some shit. I've got a lot more. Uh I want to trauma dump over the course of like a shit ton of uploads, not one. Uh so stick around if you want to hear more about my sad bullshit, huh, Billy? Um, so that's neat. Neat. I like that I keep using this as a microphone. It's a fucking flashlight, Finn. Come on, dude. Ooh. That's sick. What the fuck? What? What's reflective? Oh, my earring. No, it's not. What the fuck? Damn, it's my skin? That's kind of fucking dope. Uh. Anyways, that's, 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 uh, that's my goddamn, that's my parents, man. <laughs> Not even parents, parent. That's my goddamn parents, dude. Uh, next segment. Whoa, wait, let's get a, let's get a little. Next meme. Uh, book club, uh, came out earlier this, uh, earlier this week as of you recording, as of you seeing this. Not as me recording this, I recorded it yesterday. Um, that's earlier this week. It might come... I think it's coming out Monday. Maybe Wednesday. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but I recorded a video. It's a little book club situation. I call... I uh, I, I call the, the series uh, Lovecraft uh, Literature. Uh, because uh, for those who do not know, I uh, am... A, I, I'm illiterate. Um, and a lot of people talk about being illiterate and it's just like a joke. Or they have... Not that dyslexia can be considered being illiterate, but I feel like that's more of like a... I don't want to say disability. It's a learning disability, I would say. I don't... I've never been told I'm dyslexic by anybody. I just can't fucking read. Um, and I try really hard. Uh, and I want to figure out how to... I want to learn how to read. Uh, because I feel like that's an important skill in existence as a human. Especially in, a, in like a society such as ours. In a society. 
Um, but I read, uh, I have a big book. It's, it's back there. I don't want to get it. Do I want to get it? I'm going to get it. Okay. I'll get it. I'm not going to pause the recording though. I'm not some, I'm not some, uh, I'm not some sissy liberal. I'm not some sissy liberal who's going to pause the recording. Don't look at my ass. This little, this little book right here. It's probably flipped for you guys. My apologies. You probably can't read it. It's a, uh, it's all of the Lovecraft stuff. It's like all of them. It makes me happy. But I read the first one, which is a. Uh, fuck. Did I? Am I about to say it wrong? Because I, I, I know what I called it. But is that what it's called? That's an intro. That's an intro. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, the beast in the cave. Okay, I named it correctly in my thing. Uh, but yeah. I read that, and that was sick. I enjoyed it. I fucked up a couple words, and I, like, stuttered a lot. But I thought it was a fun uh, thing to to do. I thought it was a cool series to start, as somebody who can't fucking read. Um, but I'm going to continue doing that. I don't know when I'll get to record the next episode. Like I said, after this, I'm pretty, I gotta, I pretty much got to go get my dad. I'm asleep, and then I have to fucking go get that asshole. Uh, so I don't know when I'll record the next episode, but if the reception aren't good, I'll try, I'll, like, force time for it. But it was fun. Uh, I don't only want to do it with love, with Lovecraft stuff. I have a manga I want to do it with that I bought. I bought, uh, the complete, uh, A Silent Voice manga, which is my favorite anime. Uh, I love, I love A Silent Voice. So good. But I, I want to read it, which is why I'm, that's why I'm learning to read, is so that I can read that correctly. <laughs> Uh, I also have the novelization of uh, the first Spider-Man movie, starring Tobey Maguire. I have like the novel of the of that like pretty much that script, I guess, would be how you write it or say it. Uh, fuck. But I um, that's awesome. I want to learn how to read so I can do that because I like I like that stuff. Um, if you guys have any like funny things you would like to have me read. I think that could be sick, too. Like, I made that video in, like, maybe January of me reading, like, a joke book. If if that sort of thing seems interesting, I could I can do something like that. Or, uh, I have, a, I have like, a trivia book. I could read that. Or, like, if you guys have, like, a thing where it's like, oh, you should read this, and it's, like, fucking something about Oedipus or some shit. I don't know. Just some random thing. If you guys have something that you think would be fun to ha to do a little read through with, like a little book club situation, that'd be fun. Um, also, in those in those uh, literature situations, literature situations, great alliteration, dude. I'm so fucking smart. Um, but yeah, if you guys watch that sort of thing, like if if you watch and listen to the show that is me reading, like, the Lovecraft stuff, if you guys have thoughts or whatever about the, not only my reading of it, but also, like, if you just liked the fucking story and you want to talk about it in the comments, feel free. That shit's fun. Number one, it's good reception. Number two, it gives me, like, a, it makes it where I can talk with you guys and it not just be about YouTube. And it also is good for my channel, so feel, always feel free to comment. Uh, but yeah, I, I liked, I, I liked the reading, and I want to do more. I enjoyed it. Very fun. It took me 20 minutes to get through six pages, though, so I mean, fuck. <laughs> uh, so, I'm not quick with reading, but I, I, I like the reads. I like the reading. Um, what's, what's my next scheduled situation? Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, do I have more stuff about the channel I need to talk about? Um, I don't think so. I think I've talked about everything I need to. Oh, uh, uh fucking, I'm gonna start saying this all the time. Remember, guys, we're trying, we're trying to reach, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to reach 500 subs. By November, fuck, I can't remember, uh, 7th, mm, um, I can look it up, I, uh, uh, 
I can figure stuff up. Oh, fuck. That's the, that's the first episode of the podcast. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, um, it's fucking... It's Britney, bitch. Fuck. Uh, videos. Uh, fucking oldest. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm fear. I'm fear. I'm fear. I'm f- Cape Fear. Uh, fug. Fug? I like fug. Fug's a good word. Fuck with a G is sick. If you don't fug, I don't fug with you. God, I'm so smart. November 9th. We need to hit 500 subs by November 9th. And if we don't, I'll kill you. You'll die. No, but, uh, please, I want to hit 500 subs. I want to hit 500 subs before the one-year anniversary of uh, uploads on the channel. I think that'd be really fucking cool. Um, I think that's incredibly fun. Uh, please don't start playing that episode of the podcast. I specifically said not to play stuff while I'm recording. You mini hits. <sighs> um, but yeah, it, it's it's fun. You guys should you guys should subscribe. Um, but yeah, 500 subs, 500 subs by November 9th. Please and thank you. I love you, fuckers. <laughs> I love you, fuckers. That's fun. Um. Itchy babe. <laughs> little itchy guy. Ooh, little itchy. Um, but that's fun. Ah. Um, shit, I had it ready before and now I'm being a dumbass. I'm sorry. This is not professional, guys. Guys, this isn't a professional web podcast. Guys, my professional business is not here. I'm scared. I'm actually quite terrified, if I'm being honest. I woke up this morning. Very scary. Uh, YouTube Studio. I gotta fucking load this up. Uh, I want to talk about my analytics stuff with you guys. Because I love... I love numbers. I can't do math, but I love numbers. Um, and I like the YouTube... I like YouTube Studio giving me, like, notations of, like, my, uh... What's the right term? I like analytical shit. <laughs> um... But, uh, I want to run through my, uh, analytic recap for the month of April, because I think that's fun. I like that stuff, and I, I look at this shit all the time anyway, and I try, I try to compare and contrast with, uh, with Amadon, my best friend, once you, for the 14th time this week, I shout out Amadon Beans. Uh, but yeah, Amadon's sick, go check out his channel. I try to compare and contrast uh, uh, stats with him because I, just, I like that shit. It's nothing about, like, actually comparing us or, like, comparing how good either of us are or something. I just enjoy that. Uh, so I thought I'd share that with you fuckers. Uh, I posted 12 videos, 25 shorts, and 15 posts. Uh, I got a record subs of 105 over the, over the course of uh, April. Um, people watched my channel... 19,000 times, um, which is a fucking lot, um, that's, that's the population of my town times shit 10, uh, that's fucking crazy, um, so that's sick, and thank you fuckers for that, uh, it's also my second best performing month ever, with the first being December of last year. Uh, so of the six months, my ch- well, it'll be six months this Wednesday. Uh, but of the six months that my channel's existed, that's the second highest. With the first being December. Uh, and I think that's sick. So thank you guys very much. Uh, still 99 to 1 on new versus returning. Which means... 1% of you is returning, and... What's that math? 19,000. What's 1% of 19,000? I don't fucking know math. God, now I gotta look it up. Google. 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 1% of 19... $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? 190. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um, 
people didn't just watch. They reached out. Uh, so in April, I got 705 likes total, which is awesome. It's almost a thousand likes over the course of a month. So that's fucking awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. It makes me feel awesome. Thank you. Uh, 37 shares, which is fucking cool. And 167 comments, which is dope. Super dope. Um, those numbers are higher this month than they were for my yearly recap, which was December and November, but still. Uh, and they're also higher than what Amadon's stuff was, and he's a bigger channel than me. So thank you guys for all of that. It genuinely means a fuckload to me. Like, it, mean, it, means, it means so much to me when I'm able to share this sort of stuff with you guys, and I'm able to uh, talk with you guys about the sort of shit that I'm into, which I think is really fucking cool. It makes me a very happy individual. Um, now, we, we talked just now about how, like, I got 105 subs in April, and that's sick. Um, now I talk about how many subs I got from the first episode of this podcast, which was 40, um which is a fuckload for my channel, and a fuckload in general, so thank you guys. Uh, over the past 28 days, I've gotten 1,073% more than the pa- than than previous months in, in subscriber count. That's fucking crazy, guys. That's, like, actually insane. So, so thank you guys for that. Um, and the last thing I want to look at is audience, because I like looking at that. Uh, I don't care about these tiny baby stats. Like that. Um, Age is a cool thing to look at, I guess. Um, And also, I don't like the age stat on YouTube because you can just lie. You don't have to prove it. So like 13 to 17 is 4.7%, which makes no sense, YouTube. My videos are 18 plus. I tell you that when I post them, why are you advertising it to 13 to 17 year olds? You're going to get me in trouble and then I'm going to have to be like, well, I didn't do what YouTube did. And then I'm still going to be the one in trouble. Assholes. Uh, 18 to 24 is 25.9%. My biggest audience is 25 to 34 at 26%, which I know is a lie. I know it's a lie because I have looked and I have talked to so many of you fuckers that are nowhere near that. Unless it's a silent minority sort of situation. I guess that makes sense. Never mind. It could be true. The gender, uh, has gone, has changed, uh, at its peak. My female was like 72 or whatever. Uh, female is 40, 41.4, sorry, my brain shut off, uh, 41.4 versus, uh, fuck, 51, 50, 50, 58.4, it's on my, I can see it, I just can't read, I'm sorry, um, and my geography, oh my lord, look at my geography, um, I'm going to search by videos. No? Videos definitely changes it. Okay, so... United States is 52.5%. The United Kingdom is 12.4%. Uh, Canada is 4%. Austria is one5 Australia is one5 as well. They're two different spots. That's neat. South Africa is one3 That's actually fucking dope. I'm getting views in Africa? That's sick. Germany, one2 Philippines, one2 India, 0.6. Ireland, 0.6. And United Arab Emirates, 0.6. Neat. I, it's not on this page of analytics from April April 8th to May 5th, but um, I, what's the right terminology? Car. Um, b- but, uh, Sometime recently I checked that, and my... I think it was... It Fuck, was it... I think it was Thailand, I think? But there was there was an Asian country that was like 5% or something, and that was kind of cool to me, because uh, there's another car coming. Um, maybe this one will hit me. Because I think it's really cool that my audience is so diverse. Uh, like... Uh, probably my biggest recurring viewer has now grown us into like a close, not super close, but like a close friend, Floris, 
that right there is a a, a a Dutch a Dutch humanoid, and then um, I've talked with a couple of you guys that are like from from I've talked with two people that uh, that have come here and they're like talking from Ireland. Uh, I've had like one person say they were from. Can't remember which African country it was. Chad, maybe. That car's got bright lights. That car's leaving. Uh, I think it might have been Chad. I don't remember, but it was some like African country. Um, and that's so fucking sick that you guys aren't just like, we're a bunch of Southern Americans. It's like, nope, you fuckers are from everywhere, and that's so sick. That's so sick. That's so fucking cool. Um, like my frog noise that'd be a that'd be kind of cool for like a little metal background wouldn't it just a little i don't know what that was i'm sorry i'm done with analytics now i'll shut up i'm sorry guys i know it's boring i know the autistic kid talking about numbers isn't fun i'll shush um but that's Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> what the fuck am I, what am I talking about? Oh, baby. Wait, let me, oh, Bubba. <laughs> uh, n- next, we're talking about my dating life, baby. Woo. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, dating life time. Whoa. Uh, dating life. Um, I've been talking to somebody. I've, I've been talking to somebody for a bit. And when I say a bit, I mean like a fucking minute. Like we've been not together, but talking, uh, on, like on and off every like day or two for months, like since like September probably. Um, and as of a couple of days ago, I don't know which one I I'm, I'm really bad with dates. Um, we have become an official thing, which is awesome. It's very fun. I'm turning the camera down. I'm laying. I'm laying down. I'm taking a nap. I'm going for a sleep. I don't want to be awake no more. I'm laying here having a good time. Uh, but I'm I'm in a relationship again, and this time it feels really safe. And there's not a whole lot of like. Trying to figure out how to describe it. In most of my relationships, it's always been a like give and take sort of situation where it's like, oh, you do this, I do this in return. And for the first time ever, it doesn't feel like that. Like talking. I can say this person's name. Me saying their first name isn't going to shout everything out and explain. It's not doxing them, it's just a first name. Talking with Jasper is different. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. It doesn't feel like I'm asking for anything. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to get something. It doesn't feel like Jasper wants anything from me. And nor does it feel like we have to give and take and receive something or whatever. It just feels like conversating. It it just feels... It feels similar to how it feels to have, like, a friend, but, like, different. There's another car about to go by. Car. Car. Um. Talking with Jasper just feels different, you know? Like, it just... I don't feel like I owe them anything, and I don't feel like they owe me anything, and it's really comforting, and we've both been through some shit, and we both understand what the other person means when they say a thing, or when they talk about issues, and... We're both incredibly 
understanding of each other. And I don't want to talk about myself too much about it and be like, oh, well, I'm this and this and this and be all egotistical and shit. But it's the back and forth in a positive way. And it's not like a... It's not like Jasper's there for me and I'm not there for them. It's like a back and forth situ- situation, but God, it's... Jasper's sick. Fucking love that. I love that fucking liberal. Fucking love that liberal. That fucking sissy. Um, there's birds outside chirping. That's kind of cute. I hope that's audible. That'd be fun if that's audible. I'd like that. But, um... Jasper is understanding of a lot of the shit that's up with me. Like, I'm like, hey, I'm trans. And then Jasper's like, cool. And? Which is fucking great. Uh, and then it's like, hey, I'm, I'm, aut- I'm, I'm a little autistic ADHD bean. And she's like, I could tell. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know, I'm incredibly depressed. And he's all like, me too, want to make out? It's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fun. Pretty fucking cool. So it's like to f- have fire come out of your mouth. Mm. Um. <laughs> I'm so dumb, car. Car. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun in this relationship, and I'm not taking it too seriously, I don't think. I, t- I take everything too seriously, but I think for me, I'm not taking it that seriously. Like, I've, t- I've taken shit a lot more serious than this. <gasps> Forehead check! I said we would do one in every episode. Forehead check! Forehead check! Oh! <laughs> uh, but I'm having a lot of fun... In my outside of family bullshit, <laughs> outside of family bullshit, I'm having a great time. Outside of the family bullshit, he's having a good one. Uh, I feel like all of my friendships are stronger than they have been. I feel like I'm in the most natural relationship I've ever been in. Well, natural is probably not the right term. We are both gay little sissy liberals. I mean, I'm a conservative. I'm a goddamn conservative, I'll tell you what, boy, goddamn it, I'll tell you a goddamn thing or two. I mean, you listen here, boy. You listen here and you hear me good. I'm a goddamn conservative. I'm a straight white man. I go to church every goddamn Sunday. I go there Saturday morning, too, and I check that shit out, and I help them paint and everything, and I go there on Wednesday to get a little bit of a snack, bro, but let me tell you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very fun, very enjoyable. I have a lot of fun. I think I'm too... Trying to figure out the right term. I think I'm a little too fucking... I think I'm too overbearing, but I'm working on it. Like, I, like I'm the type of motherfucker... I do this with friends, too. It's not even a really... It's not even, like, a romantic relationship sort of issue. It's just me in general. I be texting, like, every five fucking minutes. Like, if I text you and you respond, I'm there. Bro, you can take an hour. You can take an hour to respond to me. I respond in, like, two seconds. Or I don't see your message. If I see if I see your message, I'm either responding that fast, or I completely forgot you texted me, and I'm in the corner doing something stupid. And those are my those are my two options. Uh, but overall, I've had a lot of fun getting into this relationship in like a slow, natural way. I mean, it's taken way longer than any I've ever been in to get into, and it's been the most rewarding, I think, emotionally, and. I think it's been the most rewarding emotionally and the most rewarding in myself. I think it's the relationship that I've I've always looked at it as an us thing and it's not an us thing, it's a me and you. Because I've got my shit, you've got your shit and then we have our shit together. <laughs> that sound, that's a t-shirt. I've got my shit, you've got your shit. We can't put them together. Or some shit. Like a really dumb t-shirt. But, uh... It's the relationship where I've been allowed to... Me and Jasper... Together. But we're still separate. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I'm my own person, and Jasper's their own person, which is cool. Fun fact, there's a car coming. I don't know if you knew that, but there's a car. There it went. But, uh, I think that's fun. I, I like my little jazzy poo. I like my little jazz bell. Uh, fuck was I talking? Oh, yeah. Uh, to close out this segment on my relationship, I'm happy. And I, I know I don't look happy, but that's, that's cause of the masking. I autistic. I don't smile very much. And whenever I do, it's not a huge smile and only half of it like kind of moves up and the other half kind of sits, but eh. Um, one more, uh, segment that is more of a personal thing. Um. I need surgery in my mouth. Uh, there's a car coming. You fucking idiot. There's a car. There's a fucking car. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I had to do that bit. I always, I always get angry. Not really, but like I do like an angry bit, and then I I apologize because I'm like, oh fuck, what if people think I'm being serious? No. No. No! Uh. But yeah. My teeth are fucked. <laughs> um. All of my teeth are fairly big for somebody with as small of a body as I have. Um. And my wisdom teeth are coming in really fucking big. Um. And it's to the point where down. This one is in, and it hurts a fuck ton. But it's, but it's up, and it's gonna be easy for them to take out. This one is still way down on my, like, jawbone or whatever the fuck, however they work. Like, way down here, and it's causing it to swell. Um, and it hurts to eat. <laughs> it hurts to talk. Uh, and drinking out of out of a straw sucks. And for those who don't know, I hate, I hate actually, like, drinking drinking. I like straws, and then I like sippy cups. I, I'm not a big, like, glass guy. Um, so that sucks. Dick and balls. Uh, cause, uh, I, I can't suck dick! <laughs> Guys, I can't suck a dick! My teeth is hurt! Dude, what the freak? <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> but, like, everything hurts. All of this is pain. And I sh- Oh, yeah, I shaved. I shaved this morning. Well, I say this morning. It's four. I shaved at, like, 3 p.m. yesterday. But it's already doing this little baby thing. I don't like it. I wish I, I wish I could shave and it just stay the fuck off until I wanted it back. It's like a, it's like a spray on beard. Uh, but yeah, my teeth fucking hurt and I need, I think, three surgeries? Well, it's two different sur. It's three times I have to go to the dentist. I have to get my wisdom teeth removed, and then I have to get some other surgery, but I have to get that thing twice. I don't know what the fuck it's called, or what it does, I just know I have to get it. But I've got to get three oral sur- I've got to give oral three times. (laughs) Baby, come here. My doctor said I needed oral support. Uh, Oh my god, these podcasts always get better at the end. <laughs> they just fucking do. That's awesome. I need oral support. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm having a good time. Um, how long are we in? Hour 20? Uh, that's kind of close to the end. Okay. 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 We're. I'll, I'll, I'll finish this out. I just touched my wiener. Guys, I just touched my wiener. No! <laughs> Guys, stop! Don't look! Um. No shot, there's a car coming. Dude, no! No! Please don't come, car! <laughs> um. <laughs> that, that was stupid. Uh, I'm gonna get all comfy down here, boy. Let me tell you. You ever wondered? You ever wondered what it's like to go to sleep next to me? <laughs> uh. Me 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 me. Uh. <laughs>
Um, I want to express my gratitude to you fuckers. Um, is that a car coming? Damn car. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to express my gratitude to you guys for all you do for me because you guys help validate my gender and my identity as a person and my chosen name and choices I make. And alongside validating stuff I do, you also help keep me in check because when I do something stupid, uh, the people who like me are the ones who tell me that I did something stupid. Um, and that makes me feel nice. Um, and you guys are kind of a reality check because you guys say nice things, but you're not like... You don't treat me like some god. You say nice things, but you're aware that I'm a person and that I fuck up, which is awesome. Um, damn, that makes my neck look big as hell. <laughs> Stop showing off your collarbones, dude. People are going to think you're attractive. Who was who said that? I can't remember. There was some like fucking YouTube video where that was said. Um, but I want to express my gratitude to you guys for, for helping me with that. Uh, and I want to thank you for your input and for all the feedback, um, and for contributions to the growth of, uh, the channel, the podcast, shows I do, um, the Discord server, Soiva, how many, how many dedicated a Lamborghini, dedicated a lamb to a Soiva, um, uh, but thank you guys for all that. I keep trying to, I... I'm not reading a script. I'm reading the word, uh, what, what's it called? It's like a, the, the star thing, pound. Uh, it's pound, pound, audience appreciation, parentheses, two to three minutes. I've gone way over that. I've gone way over that time limit. Uh, pound, pound. And then under it, it says express gratitude, period. And then there's like five layers of space and then conclusion. Uh, <laughs> Um, why do I keep trying to fucking read? I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to look at shit that I can read. I have to close that. <laughs> there you go. Um, but thank you guys so much for all of that and for the comments and the likes and all the subs. And thank you guys so much for the growth. Is that a fucking car? Roof, roof! Bark! Bitch. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys. Genuinely, wholeheartedly, and sincerely. There's another car. That bastard. Uh, but thank you guys again. And uh, I appreciate all you guys helped me with. And... Ooh, I'm all... Look at my fucking hail. Oh my god. Look at my wet hail. Look at this wet hail. Oh, God. I feel like the further into a podcast I go, I get more depraved, more autistic, and I do more and more voices and shit. Because I just... I guess I'm out here so long, I go a little bit crazy and just start fucking tweaking. Uh, I'm out here on my fucking methamphetamine shit. <laughs> I can't say that. I'm skinny and white. People are going to believe me. Uh, maybe I should say more. Oh. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, guys. Stop. Stop it. I was scared. Ugly ass car, bro. God damn, bro. Honda Civic. 2006 Honda Civic, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. And if you if you got the if you got this far, uh, leave leave a comment that says buttermilk. Yeah, yeah. If you made it to the end, comment buttermilk biscuits. I don't know why. I just comment that. It'll be it'll be fun. Maybe it'll be funny. It'll be so fucking cool. Uh, and now to end this, I'm gonna lay here and go to bed. Uh, set all this shit up. So I'm gonna just go sleep. That way you guys can know what it's like to, to sleep with me. Not in a gay way. Literal sleep. Put this hand up here. On your on your little belly.